Ah, man, man, oh, man, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Booyaka, 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 trying to invite some people, man, see, see what they doing with me on this live-ish right now, but yeah, Drake, I got something to say. See if I can invite as many people as I can, man. I'm always inviting people. All right, now, hold on. Um, man, oh man, let me wave at some of the people that's already checking in. Look, low, yo, I'm about to call right in. So, I titled this man Talking Ish Tuesdays. You feel me? I just got done watching this video where I got it on my page where this black, this black lady is with this white dude. And she is just going in. She's going in on, on I mean, she's going in on black men so heavy. And it's like, man, it, it's it's a problem, yo. It's a problem. They are systematically trying. Now, when I looked at this, man, it was a, it was a video that got like 200 and some thousand views. And I mean, she was just going in, man, talking about how black men uh, try to be like white men. And they try to get their hair soft and silky like white men. And uh, don't go get you a, uh, don't get a Tyrone, go get a Brad. Look, man, I'm just going to say it like this, man. I love my black women. But it's like, Lord and mercy, man, we, like, y'all can't be throwing black men under the bus like that, man. Like, we, like, it's like they put this out there, man, for you not to be on code. You understand what I'm saying? First of all, let me say I'm down here in San Antonio, Texas. This I'm a, I look, man, down here in San Antonio, it's a lot of swirling going on, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of this might be biracial capital right here because it ain't it ain't a lot of black people down here anyway. But my thing is, is that you know what I mean when I saw this video, man, this video is very disturbing. It's very disturbing. <laughs> this video is very disturbing, like. It's one thing to choose who you want to be with, man, and you can do that. It's not, it's, it is what it is. But at the same time, though, you got to understand you can be with a white person, male, male or female, and they can still be racist. You can be in love with, 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 with uh, a Becky or you can be in love with a Tom and they will marry you and love you. And then the very next breath, man, they 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 calling you all type of porch monkeys. They got a bunch of nigger jokes. Black women, like yo, like black women, y'all y'all are y'all have a lot more power than y'all think y'all have, man. There's some things that black women could fix if y'all just stayed on code. And a lot of black women, I don't know. It's like, man, y'all watch this video, man. Don't get persuaded, man. Because, like, in this video, it had her saying that, now, I guess the dude Brad was from Texas. I guess she was in Florida, and she started talking about, yeah, uh, uh, a black dude would have been like, you know, a white dude would fly out there and make it there. A black dude would be like, hey, can we go 50-50 on the, on the transportation and all that other shit? Like, yo, I don't know what kind of black people, what kind of black men that they try to associate out here. But they really trying to make us look like, you know what I'm saying? They really making us look bad out here. We can even go with the black dude that was wearing a dress at the Oscars and all this other shit. Like, yo, 
Yo, what is going on? What the fuck? What is going on, man? I see now. Now my app. Now my app's trying to act all funny. Yo, I'm talking hella ish right now. Yo, look, man. I don't give a damn who you like, but you can't be out here shitting on your own race, man. You can't be out here talking about how black men are this and black men are that, and I don't like I don't like the black man because the black man ain't this. Like there's there's now there's a, a page that's been floating around on social media called Talk Trash USA. And some of this, I don't know if they, I haven't really seen any posts from it lately, but this, this, this on the social media is crazy. You all right? On the social media is crazy. Where on this Talking Trash USA shit, they got it to where they, people are dropping just straight racist ass comments and racist ass scenarios. And one dude was like, black men don't take care of their kids and. All this other stuff, like, look, man, yeah, you have that in every race, in every uh, ethnicity. All right. All right. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You ain't about to do shit. Stop it. It's crazy, yo. This video was very disturbing, man. The video was very disturbing. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get a chance, man, go on my page and check that shit out. Check it out, man. Because this, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The, the, now... She was looking, she was looking hella fake, all right? She was looking hella fake, man, and she was really pandering and really showing some type of submission to this to this shit, man. And, and then you had the Brad on there. He was on there like, yeah, man, you know, black man, y'all don't, y'all don't know what y'all doing. You know what I mean? And black man, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe y'all should get it together. Maybe y'all should. And then they start talking about slavery, and I mean, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, man. She was saying some. She said, "Now in slavery, if you don't know, and that's part of the problem right now with the whole uh, gay bisexual thing. A lot of that started from slavery. You understand what I'm saying? They would get the biggest, strongest slaves, and they would buck and they would break their ass down. They would put them in front of their people, in front of their family, their mamas, their daddies, and they would rape them." They would rape the black man. You understand what I'm saying? They had uh, places where they would breed people. And that's where a lot of this come from. So she mentioned the name. She mentioned the title of a butler. And she was saying that a lot of black men are butlers. Basically saying that black men love like white penis. I was like, man, what? Like, what the fuck is going on out here, man? Like, what the hell? Like, this stuff is getting, it's, it's getting crazy, man. It's getting crazy out here. It's getting crazier out here. And that, and, and I'm going to say something else, man. This, this Momo, this Momo shit. So, apparently, I just started seeing the meme of it today. But it was a, it's a meme or something where these kids are online and this Momo pops up and starts telling these kids to go commit suicide and all this other shit. How do they know? How do they know? On my social media, on my YouTube page, when I go live on YouTube or whatever, whatever, I don't see nothing pop up on my shit talking about some Momo shit. They know, they know how to get up on these kids and try to make them do whatever. And I'm telling you, man, I ain't seen no Momo channel. If you got, if anybody in here right now, man, if you know what that Momo shit is, please explain this to me. Like, why is, how is it they able to get away with it? Like, how is it they're able to get on kids? Now, mind you, I don't think no kids should be on no type of social media if you're, uh, if you're under the legal age. But let's be real, that happens. But how is it that all of a sudden you on a kid is on they social media? And then this Momo shit pop up. And not only does it pop up, but it tells you to go kill yourself. And then you're wondering why all these young people are killing themselves. How do we know that they ain't watched that shit? I, I mean, come on, man. It's, 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 getting, it's getting bad out here. And I think we just need to stay on code. And we need to keep watching what our kids is doing out here. 
You understand what I'm saying? Um, black women, man, look, don't throw no black man under the bus. I don't care if you with a white dude. Man, don't throw no black man under the bus like that, man. You understand what I'm saying? Now, yeah, black man, we 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 ain't right either. So yeah, we we do a lot of silly shit. We say a lot of shit, silly shit. But at the end of the day, black men, we care for black women. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, black men be caring for black women. It slipped in the middle of a certain show. Okay, so it, it it's it's through the. It, okay, so it does it pop up like an ad? Like that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Does it pop up like an ad? You know what I'm saying? It's on YouTube Kids. So it's like, how does that happen though? How does that happen on YouTube Kids when if you find out who? Okay, so let's be very clear. You have Lee uh, Lee Eric Cohen. He is a main contributor to running YouTube. If you don't know who Lee Eric Cohen is, he's someone who used to run Def Jam. Um, he he was in the music business. You know what I'm saying? And he is a main contributor of who runs YouTube. So how does how do how do they not know that this is shit's popping up on these kids' pages? Like how do they not know this shit? They know this shit. Man, look, man, they be they be doing this shit on purpose for trial runs out here, man. They be seeing what to do just to see how the public reacts to this shit. And it's like, man, not until recently. Within a week or two, have I even seen what the Momo shit was? We got to be careful out here, y'all. We got to start protecting our kids. We got to start protecting our black women. We got to start protecting women, period. We got to start... We, yo, 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 man, yo, yo, shit, man. It's part of the show. Hold on, I'm trying to read all. Okay, they put it in there. There's no way they don't know what's happening. Oh, that's what I'm saying. They know what's happening. They know exactly what's happening. If I get on YouTube right now and I start talking some for real, real, real shit, nigga, they will shut my page down, son. You know what I mean? See, they getting exposed out here for this third party entities that are on the social media that gauges and watches your page. So when I send something out, I'm supposedly having 5,000 cyberspace friends. But I believe the things I put out, it don't reach 5,000 people. You understand what I'm saying? They gauge and they watch. I, man, look, yo, I've had I've had a person tell me there's a place down here in San Antonio. And I'm not going to say what the name of it is, but there's a place out here in San Antonio that will hire you to be a social media monitor. There is a place out here in San Antonio, Texas that will hire you to be a social media monitor, which means that you'll basically sit on a computer and they will log you into people's social media pages and you basically report what's happening on there. And if they put something out there that the content is too much, too real, too this, too that, that's why I try not to cuss on a lot of my posts. I try not to cuss because what they'll do is they'll flag you or they'll shut your, your message down because of the language. You know, so I try not to cuss a lot on my pages at all. You understand what I'm saying? This is get hey, yo, man, they know what's going on, man. If you, if you, if you, if you. Watch movies, man. Go watch a movie called They Live. Go watch a movie called They Live. It, it came out in the 80s. You know what I mean? It had the wrestler in it named Roddy Roddy Piper. It had the black dude, this black dude in it that's been in a lot of movies. He's uh, uh TV shows. I think he's on the Green Green Leaf show. What was that show about uh him being a pastor or something? Man, go check that movie out. You understand what I'm saying? They putting a lot of they putting a lot of shit out there for people to either believe or not believe. And I'm telling you, man, we can't be drinking the Kool Aid with a lot of this shit. They doing a lot of test runs with this shit, and we cannot fall for the okie doke and the banana and the tailpipe. B, we can't do it. I'm talking, I'm talking ish on here right now, man. 
We got to watch what we doing out here, man. We got to be cautious out here. If you got kids, and, and trust me, every kid that's on that's on YouTube, they've seen this. If they created the YouTube page, they've had, trust me, my, 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 you mean my stepson out here. He, he didn't see, he didn't have that shit come up telling you to commit suicide. What the, what the, what the hell, son? This is, yo, 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 man. <sighs> shit, man. Oh, man. We got to start getting this together. Like the whole reparations thing, like they really pumping this reparations things real heavy. So I don't know what's going, I don't know what they're going to do with this reparations. They may give black people all this money, then all of a sudden they may be like, look, man, we, we about to stop uh, this this printing paper currency. Soon as they give this out to black people. You know what I'm saying? We got to be cautious, man. Yeah, I'm about to get up out of here, though, man, because they, they starting to slow my shit down. They probably got somebody watching page right now. Like, if he says one more real thing, we're going to freeze his content so yo i just want to put this out there right quick be cautious man stay cautious out here just know what's going on man you know i, I really this is i'm gonna believe this is what i believe in right here they got all these democratic nominees that keep getting exposed bernie sanders i know he's independent but he wants to be the democratic you know what i mean party running all these other uh, this is what this is what my prediction is right here because what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep people in here to not vote for donald trump and they're talking about how bad donald trump is and they're trying to make themselves look real pretty innocent popular and cool but don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. If they try to go and match that with a very open white supremacist democratic nominee. Watch what I tell you. I rather have I rather have this uh, open white supremacist country. I rather have it that way. And they getting ready to drop a movie. They getting ready to drop a movie. Similar to what I'm talking about right now. They already drop a movie. It's called like a um, civil state. It's called something, man. I can't remember the name of it right now. I've been seeing previews of it. But watch this shit, man. That's what I tell you. They gonna end up fighting fire with fire because a lot of these people are getting exposed. Watch what I tell you. See if they don't bring out some democratic person. That is an open white supremacist to match some of the shit that Donald Trump's doing. That's all I got right now, y'all. Hit me up, man. ComedianJScott.com. Hit me up on my hashtag. W-T-F-I-S-U-R-P-R-O-B-L-E-M-B. Or what the F is your problem, B? You can see any type of content that I have out there through that hashtag. Like I said, man. Uh, stay woke, man. You understand? If not, stay asleep. Either way it goes, y'all gonna do something, man. It's me and Jay Scott, man. I'm out, man. Peace.